This is a sixth generation iPad mini, and I am super excited to be doing the unboxing for you today. So just a little bit of background information. The color I chose was the pink option. To be honest, I don't really care about the colors that much. Um, I normally go for the graphite anyway. And I know that the lavender color was making waves, but honestly, I wasn't really that much of a fan of it. I got that subtle pink version because it's my sister's favorite color. And I'm planning to gift this to her on her birthday, which is coming up this October. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. So obviously, looking at the box, you've got the clean Apple aesthetic. And you've got the iPad mini text over here. And on the back, you can see we've got the 256 gigabyte version, which is non-cellular. So it's Wi-Fi only, sixth generation. And yeah, other than that, the box is pretty clean. So yeah, let's peel this tab and get into it. Let's try to slide this out. They won't try to resist me too much. Let's pull this out. And there you have it, the iPad mini sixth generation in all its glory. And I gotta say, I am sorry for my fingerprints that I'm leaving all over the screen, but it is what it is. And yeah, I really like this unibody aluminum design. Um, it's obviously inspired from the iPad Pro lineup, which honestly feels really nice and sturdy in the hand. It feels quite substantial. Uh, I think, honestly, if there was something that I didn't really like about the iPad mini, the previous generation iPad mini, it was that I felt it was always a bit too slim, which I understand why they went for it, but yeah, this just makes it feel like there's actually something more substantial to hold on to, uh, for me at least. All right, so the power button's at the top. I'm just turning it on. So yeah, you're probably wondering where the volume buttons are, and the fact is that they actually had to remove it in favor of the Apple Pencil, which pretty much takes up most of the space. So the volume buttons have now moved to the top on the left corner, which, you know, I think will take a bit of getting used to, but that's fine, you've got the power button here. And you've got the classic Apple setup page where it's just hello in a bunch of different languages. So yeah, at this point, I'm gonna set it up and get back to you. All right, so I've connected the iPad to my phone and that honestly makes the setup process a lot quicker. So while that's running in the background, let's have a look at what else is actually in the box. So here, you've got this little tab here to pull out this box and it says designed by Apple in California. So let's see what's in here got the iPad mini guide and yeah, it just tells you how to navigate through the OS, um, some of the gestures, which is always nice. So let's set this aside over here and see what else we got. Uh, you got another piece of paper, which with a lot of fine print. So yeah, I mean, you can read that if you want. I'm not going to. And finally, some Apple stickers, <laughs> which are always welcome. Not colored, but yeah, it is what it is. And that's pretty much it. I gotta say, this is a pretty big box for just three pieces of paper. And here I believe is something even more interesting, a charging brick in a box made by Apple. Who would have thought? But yeah, it's here anyway. You've got a 20 watt charging brick, which is always a welcome addition, as well as a USB type C to C cable so you can fast charge your iPad mini. All right, so that's pretty much done. All right, so the iPad has finished the initial setup. So let me bring it out here and have a look using Touch ID, cool. And yeah, this is the home screen. And I gotta say, just off the bat, the icons are a lot smaller than I would have expected. Um, honestly, I feel like it's the exact same size as the icons on my iPhone. And the weird thing is that the weather widget honestly feels bigger on my iPhone. So this is kind of interesting. But yeah, it's, it's pretty much all there. And my first impression right off the bat is that I really, really like this unibody aluminum design, which is a little bit thicker than the previous one. And I like these kind of flat edges because it really makes it feel like you're holding something which is much more substantial than the previous iPad mini. Yeah, I feel like this would make a great tool for students. Also, I just found out that pilots really dig this device. So yeah, you learn something new every day, I guess. And my first impression of the iPad mini is honestly, this feels like a really nice device. 
and I really want to give it a go and see what it's like to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you want to watch my in-depth review, stay tuned for that. And that's my cue to sign off. I guess we're out of time. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.